Uh, this is the first time that I'll ever be performing spoken word. Whoa! It's crazy. Oh, yeah. oh, I don't have yeah. a pick. That's the worst. Fuck it. <sighs> this song is called, or poem, shit. This is about a pretty bad breakup. Sat two blocks from midnight to watch you swing from plastic trees. You always felt movement in motion, the same way I felt movement in mohawks. But you let your hair grow long in dreadlocks, releasing lavender-scented words of muffled pain behind empty beer cans and happies. You held your breath so in the smell your lies. I listen to these broken afternoons of children wanting just one more minute while watching parents argue about stuff that I didn't understand. I never understood you. You never noticed me. You never noticed anyone. You had more important things to do. Bigger things to worry about. Like whether oceans are half full or just empty. I wonder why people find comfort in shooting stars and not bullets. And maybe it's because they're so far away and so are you. But you always had such good aim with that smile. I listen to these broken afternoons, these run-down houses of half open calluses to prove we made it. To places people thought to be untouchable. Who knew it would you it would be you that would grow up Who knew it would be you that would grow untouchable with every bleeding grasp of interlaced wounds you ruined your heart on your sleeve and it showed and I tried to pull, hold the pieces together for as long as I could but time is a poison and you drank each drop like I wasn't enough for you. told me stories like that, but you weren't lying like that, were you? Ask me questions like that, but you weren't lying like that, were you? I told you stories that didn't make sense because I wanted you to know why I always forgot to free. This is my gel cell, I'd say. And this is where we met. There's a woman who has the memory of an elephant. I only remember her stained smile confessing that she finds herself in debt. Well, maybe elephants are in debt too. Or maybe we'll find fingerprints of thirsty females who can't be forgotten either. Do you remember that night? So drunk it threw up all over itself. At least so I'm told. I don't really remember that night. <laughs> I sat in a room in a house and ate mushrooms and watched TV until the walls were bleeding. I felt like everything had feelings the way I did. And I fell through the floor. And I never got made fun of. Not even when I cry. And I cry every time I get here. And I'm not sure how I got here, but I knew because I I lost you on the 12th. Then I knew because your hair was more important than the moonrise. And I knew because I always wrote you down. And I didn't write you down, but time is a poison. And you drank each drop like I wasn't enough for you. Even 
my bus driver knew it wouldn't last. <laughs> he just kind of keeps to himself. So now by the time you're done confessing your love to me, I will have found 14 different ways to write lonely on the left side of my left side. I want to know why I won't let you in. Just search for the band-aids I keep under my skin. And if I ever forget to breathe, 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 remind me that these seasons are only temporary. So are plastic trees. Thank you.